Hey guys, welcome to the real world test video of the iOS 17.4.1. In this video, I will be running different applications and we will see the battery life and the performance of the iOS 17.4.1. And let's see how this performs. So let's begin the real world test video. Right now, the battery percentage is 93 and I'm going to watch YouTube because I really like watching YouTube. I really love to enjoy live streaming of different games. Battery percentage stats at 80% for now and there are different apps updates in the app store so I am going to update all these applications. Instagram is my one of the most used application. I use this application scrolling the reels whole day. You know, I really enjoy wasting my time. I'm not even exaggerating. But yeah, Instagram reels are really addictive. I'm using it since so many hours now and now I'm gonna run a Geekman score to see how the iOS 17.4.1 is performing. Hey guys, so this is the benchmark score on iOS 17.4.1 as you can see. 2312 on single core while 5661 on a multi core. It's slightly better than the average one on the iPhone 14 and again slightly better in the multi, multi core as you can see. Now let's talk about everything in detail. So it's the conclusion of a video. It's a really good day running iOS 17.4.1. I'm pretty much very much satisfied with the battery life and the performance and everything is really good. I'm definitely going to share all the battery stats with you guys for now. So let's go and let's talk about the battery a bit. So going into the settings in the battery and let the battery stats load over here. So this is the day when I was using iOS 17.4.1. I tried to use my phone as much as I could. And as you can see, I used my phone around 65% of my battery according to this graph. So in 65%, I got screen on time of 8 hours and 10 minutes, which is very much improved from the iOS 17.4, which is really a good news. So I'm quite happy about this performance of battery life running iOS 17.4.1. In my upcoming videos, I will also do a gaming review of the iOS 17.4.1 with the battery life. So if you have any game in mind, you can drop those games in the comment section below. I will try out those games and we will see the, how the battery is performing. Now let's talk about the performance and let's compare the Geekman score of iOS 17.4.1 with the iOS 17.4 over here. This is the Geekman score of iOS 17.4 as you can see 2290 on a single core while 5575 on a multi core. While on 17.4.1 as I already showed you, I'm getting 2312 on a single core and 5661 on a multi core. Now these cores are slightly better. Uh, from the iOS 17.4 which is really good but again I'm not still satisfied because if I go over here and show you my score of this this is iOS 17.3.1 and over here on multi-core I was getting 5811 score which is far better than the iOS 17.4 and the iOS 17.4.1 so I believe there is still a room for improvement that Apple can do and make more better and although battery life is quite stable and also talking about the battery draining over here if i go over here as you can see i charged my phone around 3 am last night and from this point as you can see from this point to this over here it's pretty much a straight line which means it was 100 percent or maybe dropped uh, only a one or two percent as you can see which means overnight battery draining is also fixed and yeah, overall performance is really good. So simple question, should you update to the iOS 17.4.1? Yes, definitely go and update to this version. Everything is running really fine. And I will see you in my next video. Until then, take care. Peace out.